Jumbo. Jumbo, and welcome to Animal Kingdom. It has been about a month since we've been to Animal Kingdom. Um, they have Thank officially, you, Epcot, and all your festivals. Right, and all the Hollywood Studios <laughs> craziness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and very merry. There's a lot been going on There's lately. so much. We it's can't crazy. keep up. We really can't. <laughs> um, but they finally do have all their Christmas decorations up, their holiday decorations up. Yeah. So we're gonna check out those, get something to eat for lunch. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit busy today, so it probably just kind of puts around the park and uh, give you a tour of everything going on today at Animal Kingdom. Love all the Christmas decorations. Even though it is decorated for Christmas, it is actually very warm again. I love those owls. Oh, those owls are really nice. Oh, those are cute. That's fun. Let's go into the Riverside Depot. And we're gonna look for some pins because we are running low on traders. So we're gonna see what they got. They have lots of great stocking stuffers, like little necklaces that are in a little ornament. That's cute. How much is that? More necklaces. Twenty dollars for oh, that, and sorry. those are all twenty bucks. Probably, yeah. Cute yeah, though. Yeah, that is like. Like gifts with Disney. I've never seen all this. Yeah, I think this is oh, this side of it's kind of new. Fun. Oh, those are nice. There's like the bottom. Oh, that's oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Yeah, lots of little gifts with Disney. A lot of Christmas themed, holiday themed stuff. A little charm bracelet there. Some more charms. That's kind of a little tassel, looks like a tree. Some little pom poms. Nice. They have a brand new patch set as well. Star Wars patches, kind of in a. What, what kind of colors would you say? Pastels? Pastels yeah, yeah, pastel really color like schemes. Color yeah, that's nice. I've never seen a Stormtrooper look like that. Alright. And this just in all the 2020 pin sets are out. $32.99 for those sets. Those did go up recently within the last month to $28.99 to $32.99. Same with the lanyard pin set. Um, I love this oh, that's one. cute. I like that. More cord. It's really cute. We got one for Epcot, one for Magic Kingdom, another one for Magic Kingdom, oh, more for BB Magic Kingdom. And oh, BB 8 and R2SO, I think it is, something like that. Well, it's the hairdryer droid. I'm just going to call on that. Okay. Um, they have one for Hollywood Studios. They got another one for Animal Kingdom. And still no UCF pins. Uh, there's a 20,000 Leagues pin. I kind of want it, but it, I think it's like 20 bucks, which is really expensive for one pin. Uh. It's so cute! It's so cute! You want to look at the reindeer? Sure. These are brand new roaming characters for the holidays this year. Gorgeous. You can come over and you can say hi to them. Aww. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So much fun. Well, we didn't find any tradable pins, but they did have this 20,000 Leagues Magic of Honor, and I got it. It was. Normally $17.99 with our discount, it was $15 and change. And I am very happy, I'm gonna put this on my jean jacket. Even in the far off land of Pandora, holidays have arrived. Let's find them. Jeez. That killer was got run over. <laughs> we found Santa Claus. I love that, it's so cool. And like it's all decorated around. What are, you, what are you saying to Santa? I'm telling Santa what I want for Christmas. Oh, okay. We gotta sit on his lap. It's not possible. <laughs> All of the decorations that they have. Oh, wow. Oh, right. The banshee. That's cool. Oh, that is really cool. I like the banshee. I like it. All these decorations that they have around for Christmas. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit around kind of the uh, the expat base here. Uh, but still cool. I was like nice little touches. Yeah. I like his hat too. It's been a very long time since we've been inside the gift shop in Pandora. We got a couple new cool things. I like this guy. Kind of cool. In there. Oh my god. 
It's like a My Little Pony, this, but a yeah, banshee. What is this? I don't know, it's not a banshee, it's just a My Little Pony from Pandora. It's really creepy and weird. Dire horse. Dire horse, yeah. interesting. Yeah, me neither. They have these new little wood sprites I've never seen before that they flash, which is neat. I don't know how to make them stomp though. But they're really cool. Seventeen dollars. They also, for some reason, sell pitcher plants and Venus flytraps, which is kind of a bummer that they sell Venus flytraps because if you don't know, if you touch inside the mouth of the Venus flytrap and they close, they can only do that so many times and then they'll eventually die. So I'm 99% sure all of these Venus flytraps are probably on their way out because kids will come over and tap them to wash them close their mouth. So kind of a bummer. I wish I wouldn't sell these here. Let's go ahead into the Nomad Lounge for a little midday treat and a drink. Just kidding. Oops. It's very busy. Completely oh. full. No, and there's the like inside or outside. two or three groups also no, waiting. waiting so. so no big deal. Uh, we're gonna go to Africa then and get some corn and get a beverage and then maybe also get some lunch. After waiting in a very long Africa bar line, I got a Tusker Lager and Kelly got the alcoholic jungle juice, which is their jungle juice, uh, peach schnapps, and some vodka. It's so good. Super like refreshing. refreshing. Yeah. Citrusy. I definitely recommend this at Dawa Bar. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the corn is so good. <laughs> I mean, you need both of them. I know. One was Joe's, okay. This is my corn. As you can see, these birds are fully quiet. They can go wherever they want, wherever they want to. My name is Shannon. I am one of the avian trainers and conservationists here at the Devil's Animal Kingdom. I'm Greg Tenney, but my friend Paula. But also on the cross, we have my friend. Also, Marvin is here as well. Most importantly, we have these amazing birds that are joining us. Does anyone here know what kind of bird you are? Scarlet macaws. Yeah, we have a scarlet up here. Your macaws and parrots are the correct answer. So if you think of either of those, you got it. These are macaws, and macaws are a type of parrot. And we have three different species out here right now. First off that I want to point are out with Nick. That is Sammy, Joe, and Cletus. Those are called blue-throated macaws. And blue-throated macaws are the most frequently endangered macaw remaining in the wild today. So make sure to get their picture. Also next to me up here, the loudmouth. This is Marvin. And then we have his girlfriend, Jesse, over there. Jesse's a scarlet macaw, and Marvin is a green-winged macaw. He's one of the larger species. But why do you all think these birds decided to join us for our show today? What do you think we have that they're interested in? Shut it up. Food. Yeah. Fun stuff. So we train our birds using a technique called positive reinforcement training. And all that is is a fancy word for you give the birds treats. So watch Nick right now. As these birds are landing on his T-perch, he's going to reward them for doing that behavior. So anytime these birds do a behavior, like coming back to the tree of life with me, they're going to get something that they like. And that could be peanuts, it could be banana chips, maybe a grape or something like that. All sorts of fun stuff for the birds. And this technique works on any living learner in your life. So does anyone here have a pet at home? <laughs> what about a significant other? <laughs> a sibling? Maybe a neighbor that's really annoying. All of these learners in your life can learn through positive reinforcement. So think about what you're rewarding in the future. And that's the behavior that's going to happen again and again. So take this technique home with you. Something you don't want to take home with you, however, are these birds. People see macaws in the home as a pet pretty commonly, but these birds are one of the most challenging pets to ever bring into your home. Anyone want to guess why? What's the complaint with owning a macaw? The noise is one of them, for sure. Marvin showed that off throughout our presentation. He's going to be making all sorts of noise. Another really big challenge with these birds is how much they chew on things. <laughs> You hear that cracking? Macaws are naturally very destructive animals. They chew on anything they can find. So in your home, that's going to be things like your antique furniture, your cell phones, your fingers, your drywall, even. Macaws chew on anything because they're wild. 
they naturally tunnel into trees. This is not a behavior that just goes and can be trained away. It's something they naturally have to do. It's a huge challenge to have at home, and they live a long time. This is a lifelong commitment. Getting a parent is getting an animal that's going to live about as long as you will. So think a lot about it. Well, it is extremely busy here. So we are going to move on for the day and end our video here from Animal Kingdom. But well, we had a nice little quick trip here and there's a bird Sorry. walking towards us. Uh, we have no food for you. Goodbye. We have no food for you, sir. No, sir. He smells all the corn on me. Yeah, right. He's like, we got that corn. <laughs> yeah, here, I just... Don't kick me. I'm not kidding. I'm just shooing him. <laughs> <laughs> but if you liked our little foray into Animal Kingdom, checking out some of the holiday decorations and eating lots of corn, make sure to give us a big old massive thumbs up. If you want to see our further adventures around the Disney parks and beyond, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon to get notified every time we go live with more videos. And as always, we will see you next time for more Young at the Parks.